right, so today we are talking about whether or not it's time to move our two-year-old out of his crib into his own bed. Yeah, we don't really know uh, <laughs> what the time frame you should do that is because our daughter, we kind of failed in that regard. <laughs> we didn't... Uh, it didn't go too well, so she never actually slept in the crib. She wound up sleeping in her own bed from the time she was one years old. So No, not since she was born. Well, she used to sleep in a bassinet, and then a lot oh, of yeah. times she would sleep with you. But she Because she, she always wanted to breastfeed, and then I'd be on the couch. And then <laughs> I think by the time she was one, it was like full time in the bed. But she yeah, never, she herself. maybe took like a couple of naps in the crib, and that's it. She just never would sleep. Never. Now... He is, like you said, he's not having it. Yeah. Some but, nights he goes down easy and some nights he fights till he can't fight anymore. But nowadays, I mean, I think with him, our, our, our son, he will sleep in the crib, whereas our daughter never did. But now he's very vocal. I want Anastasia's bed. You want Anastasia's bed? whether it's napping or whether it's sleeping during the night. Um, like today, he was in her bed the entire time, refused to go down, refused to go in his, in his own bed. And I'm just like, what, you know, what are we supposed to do? So they would sit there, they fight, they play, they jump around, they play some more until, you know, we're like enough is enough. Yeah. I mean, I don't know when the time is, like when the appropriate time I've read, you know, two and a half to three and a half years old, you're supposed to move them out of the bed. But I think it, I think every child is different. I think you have to go by what the child wants. At this time, he's asking, all right, let's be done with this. I want my own bed. Yeah. So he asks for it. He refuses to go in the bed, in the crib. He's always taking over our bed. Um, he'll wake up in the middle of the night and refuse to go back in the crib and sometimes he'll fall asleep with you uh, Like lay down on the couch or something like that because he just won't go back in the crib um, So I'm thinking that we should just bite the bullet but, Yeah, but, but I'm for it, but you are against it. I feel like if we take the bars off He's just gonna it's gonna give him free reign to just get out whenever he wants and then he'll be in our bed all the time anyway but we can lower the bar because the way it's set up is that you can like lower the bar so he does not necessarily falling out, but he can, yeah, he can I don't climb think up. It's set up that way. Oh, you'd have to like just I think take it you off. Just take the bars off and it's a bed. Oh. So he can get out whenever he wants. <laughs> but you so, know, unless you want to buy a, a, a bed and replace the crib, but yeah, I looked at it. You just you just basically unscrew the bars and it's a bed. That's what it is. So he's gonna be able to just run yeah. them up. Yeah. A friend did recommend just getting a gate for the room so he won't leave the room. He can get out of the bed, but he won't leave the room. I don't really want to treat him like a dog, though. I mean, it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of crazy, I mean. Yeah. So what do you think? Should we or shouldn't we? So we're on opposite sides of the fence here. I'm, I'm saying we should hold off a couple more months because he's he at nighttime, he, st he does go down. Like when we finish story time, I put him in there. Most of the time he goes down with no problems. It's just that he wakes up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night and then it's hard sometimes getting him back in. But other times he'll go right back in. So it's hard to say. I don't think he, he's to the point where he's done with the crib. Nah, so he's not I'm, I'm going, I'm ready to give it a couple more months. I enjoy the baby, you know, the toddler yeah. phase and, you know, him moving up into a bigger bed would mean he's not like a baby. Or a small toddler anymore it's almost like he's like a little boy or something I don't know the time I was ready to do it was when he it was a point where he was trying to climb out of the yes. crib and the crib is at the lowest possible setting so he you know he can get and he can still get his legs over it so <laughs> he can he, do it if he wants, if he wants to, to but, but I tell him like no you are not gonna do it but lately he, he hasn't been doing that so yeah. there was a time when he would try to climb out every day but now he doesn't do that anymore. I don't know why, but he doesn't do that. So that's why I'm kind of like, okay, let's just yeah, we put the roll with the crib on. and then give it a couple more months. Uh, yeah, part of me wants to just, you know, he's asking for it. That means he's ready. But I get what you're saying. I think, you know, a couple more months won't hurt either. Ugh, I guess, I don't know. 
like we're on opposite sides. How about you guys let us know what you think? <laughs> Should he move on or not? Should he have his own bed? I mean, our, our daughter had her own bed, like, from the beginning. So that's why I feel like, you know, if he's asking for it, like, at this point, he's verbally saying, I want my own bed. I, and I don't agree with the gate thing either, just putting up a gate. He, you know, I don't want to treat him like they're, they're locked in up a cage, you know. in a cage. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I, that, I, I just believe in, you know, hey, that's another good topic. Great. Childproofing. Mm. Oh. All right, so tell us what you guys think. Should we hold off on moving him out of the crib into his own bed, or should we just go for it? Sounds good. Let us know. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.